Hey everyone, Helder here. Uh, today I want to review the uh, Schrade pen, or at least uh, one specific model. So I want to go ahead and get right into it. Once again, this review and the reason why I picked up uh, this particular uh, pen was uh, specific to me. All right, and I'll go ahead and explain to you why. Basically, this is my uh, backpack that I carry with me when I travel. All right, so everything in here is pretty much uh, good to go as far as uh, TSA approved. I had other uh, Go Rucks. Uh, and the problem is that I bring them everywhere, so there could be rifle casings in there, there could be uh, other types of blades, uh, things of that nature that obviously aren't going to be uh, too good to go with TSA and get me into some trouble. So knowing that, I went ahead and picked up this uh, Echo uh, Go Ruck backpack exclusively for traveling. Um, and now, so keeping that in mind, all right, there's uh, different reasons to have uh, specific types of tactical pens. Now, what I'm looking for here as I'm traveling, you know, through the Middle East and uh, and uh, Europe and things like that that are uh, completely uh, against carrying any type of blade and uh, most anything that you carry on you can be uh, a reason to get you locked up. Well, knowing this, um, a pen was something that I usually kept with me, all right? So we have this, let's say, specific pen here. Um, that I always had with me felt kind of good once again It's a regular pen, but just wasn't doing the job if I knew I really needed to use it for uh, You know any type of, uh, of self-defense, let's say so I went ahead uh, did some research had been familiar with uh, with a lot of these pens um, That trade make and I ended up uh, picking up this one Okay, so I'll have the uh, model number up here and so on and so forth and even a link to uh, to Amazon if that's something that you want to purchase. Now, what I liked uh, the most about this pen was the look of it, all right? If you think about it, even compared to a, to a regular pen, it doesn't look all tacticaled out, okay? So once again, it's made solid. It has that uh, the aluminum uh, grade or aircraft uh, aluminum grade uh, material that it's built out of. But if you were to put it up against another pen... There's not that much that's, uh, that's going to set somebody off and say, hey, you can't come in here with that or so on and so forth. So that was one of the reasons, okay? You don't have all this crazy uh, ballistic and scary looking stuff on it, all right, that might cause a TSA agent or a customs officer in a different country, all right, to go ahead and start asking questions. And, you know, worst case scenario, you're going to get delayed. And after those types of travels, especially to the Middle East where it uh, takes me 26 hours door to door, uh, the last thing I want to do is be held up when I'm in that cranky mood and and also uh, lose something, you know, that you're going to, that they're going to confiscate, you know, whether it's 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, I don't want to take it away from me. I have that tool for a specific reason. All right. So once again, you can tell I have all sorts of stuff in here. I don't want to go into detail. I do have reviews on the Go Rucks. If you're interested, you could find that uh, on our uh, YouTube channel. But once again, this is specific to this pen. Now we have it uh, threaded, okay? As far as the specifics, I'm not going to go into everything. I'll just list them on here because you could find that right at the manufacturer's website or even uh, wherever you're going to buy it in the description itself. The other really good point that I enjoy about this pen is the way that it writes. I mean, it writes really well, all right? It has one of those, uh, I think, Parker uh, ballpoint cartridges inside, and that's the replacement that you use. But as far as writing, it's really good to go. Uh, not that I write much these days, but signing certain things and... Uh, you know, so on and so forth, all right, during classes, uh, it's something that I do enjoy using. So once again, it's not a pen that's just going to be taking up space to, for uh, tactical purposes or self-defense purposes, but it's also something that's a uh, very good writing utensil, all right? So the other thing that I do suggest is when I do go through TSA, of course, I keep it in here, right? Just another reason for them not to scrutinize by me having it in my pocket and uh, putting it into one of those plastic containers so they see exactly what's going on and you're basically asking them to ask questions, all right? We want to avoid that, so I always carry it in my uh, the molly webbing here or anything, let's just say, inside of your pack or inside of your carry-on. And what I do like to do is leave it open, all right? So that way it takes more of the the questioning out of it, you know, of like, oh, what is that? You know, let me send it back, especially with, uh, you know, it depends on the mood that that customs officer or TSA agent uh, is in at that moment in time, all right? And I don't want to dictate my future, you know, or my holdups on that uh emotion that that person might be carrying at the time. So I'm going to try to make things as easy as possible, as comfortable as possible to get me through uh, with all my gear intact. All right. So the one thing I do recommend is to have it unscrewed. All right. Put it in here and then just keep it inside open. All right. That's just la less questions that they're going to ask. Uh, just a piece of advice over there. All right. So let's keep going with this. All right, guys. So just like any other uh, concealed weapon that you're going to carry, the key word is perfect practice. The more that you practice with this weapon, the more that you're going to own it, 
the more that you're going to be feel comfortable, the more that you're going to be able to deploy it, all right, if shit hits the fan and, you know, your heart's beating through your chest and you need to go ahead and rely on what you've been practicing, okay, that muscle memory or whatever you want to call it. At that point, it's more of a reflex or the limbic system taking over, all right? So keeping in mind, you're going to carry it, all right, or I carry it the way that I would carry, let's say, a blade, all right, because most of the time as I'm going through Europe or going through the Middle East, I can't have a blade, but I can have something that's going to mimic that that's going to at least enhance my experience, okay, or give me uh, somewhat of a fighting chance as opposed to having nothing on me, all right? So hopefully nothing ever happens, whatever, but once again, it's all about being prepared. So I like having this on me. As I go and deploy it, all right, and take it out, it's very natural to get right into that reverse grip. And that's one thing that I really do love about this particular model is the placement of your thumb that's on there. It feels very natural, very comfortable, a lot of good open space, all right? I don't feel like it's going to slip. So that's one very good point. So as I'm deploying that, naturally I'm going right into that reverse grip, which is probably the more application that I'm going to be able to get from a weapon or a pen or a tool like this one, all right? So that's a good point. Remember to just always keep practicing that, you know, do what you have to do, go into whatever your type of training is, but always practice that, especially the drawing, all right? Shirts can get in the way, jackets get in the way. Practice from every possible angle that you can. That's always what we're telling our members to just get that practice in because this is specific to you. Every little pen and every person has their own specific nuances. So keeping that in mind, that's the last thing I want to say about that. Perfect practice makes perfect, okay? Now keeping that in mind, I'm drawing this weapon. Now, the one downfall that I found uh, is that as I'm utilizing this weapon, I want to be gentle on Bob, of course, because there's no protection, so I don't want to sit there and put holes in him. But as I go through any type of movement, okay, with this tactical pen or whatever, right, just moving around, not even moving too much, right, just playing around, doing whatever, you'll find that it starts to unscrew, okay? So there's a little bit of a problem. Now keep in mind, on a, an attack, you're probably not going to sit there with 10 or 15 different movements to accomplish your mission. You may be lucky to get one, you know, to whatever the case may be. So that might not even come into, into application. But, you know, we practice, and what we practice is most likely what's going to happen out there on the street. So as we're practicing this, I do notice that the threading does seem to come apart. Now we can't use anything like Loctite or, or anything like that because then it renders the pen useless. And if TSA does decide to want to unscrew it and open it up, there's going to be uh, some issues, all right? Once again, interrogation, questions, so on and so forth that we're trying to avoid uh, by all of this, okay, with, with all of this. So keeping that in mind, the one thing that I found using it over and over, it tends to unscrew, all right? So keep that in mind. Uh, but, you know, also most of the, the scenarios are going to be over within a couple movements anyway, all right? So... Keeping that in mind, if I were to give it a con, that would be the one con, is that the threading seems to loosen up with movement, all right? So you want to keep that in mind also when you're deploying it out of your pocket, all right? Because just you moving around with it all day and then going to pull it out and the cap goes one way and the pen goes the other, you know, you're going to be shit out of luck in that situation. So once again, it's all about practice and the reason you're going to learn these type of things is through your own personal practice because you're going to find things that I didn't find because they're specific to you or specific to your training or how you're going to... Um, deploy this tool uh, besides just uh, writing stories, all right? So keeping that in mind, excellent pen, lightweight, once again, looks like a pen, something that's very important, you know, guys want to go out there or girls want to go out there with this, you know, tactical, and I mean, you know, real extreme tactical looking pen, you're going to get that taken away from you, or you're going to get somebody asking questions, all right? And that's really the opposite of what we're trying to do here, right? We want to be tactical, not just use that word to describe an item. Right? That has to be part of you. It all starts with yourself first. Then whatever you deploy just uh, kind of gets in, tied into that lifestyle or into that method. All right? So definitely recommend it. All right? Keep in mind the points that I do brought up, uh, that I did bring up. And uh, good luck to you. And once again, hopefully you only have to use this as a uh, writing utensil in your future. All right? Stay motivated. Keep training.